Hey guys, the Peddler back with another video. Today we're gonna to be figuring out why cyclists shave their legs and some tips of how to shave your legs for cycling. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So there's four primary reasons why cyclists shave their legs and before I go on to list them, I'm gonna ask if you guys subscribe and like this video right now. It really helps with me putting out content and the overall growth of this channel. So if you guys can do that, it'd be much appreciated. So the first main reason why cyclists might shave their legs is for massages. And that's how I initially started shaving my legs for cycling. After, you know, a couple of rides, my legs got pretty sore and I was recommended to get a massage. And after my first massage, it was pretty uncomfortable with the amount of hair and the oil they use. It was just not a good combination. So the massage therapist actually recommended, you know, for a better quality of massage that was less painful to shave my legs. And ever since then, I've been shaving my legs. So the second reason why a cyclist might shave their legs is for sunscreen application. The less hair you have on your legs, the easier the sunscreen goes on, especially that's what I found. So if you are very hairy, you're going to have a lot of clumpiness that the sunscreen, you know, grabs onto the hair. So if you don't have a lot of hair, then you're lucky you might not have to shave your legs. But uh, for most people, shaving and getting to, you know, just bare skin, the sunscreen applies very efficiently and there will be no clumps or discomfort. So the third reason why cyclists might shave their legs is in fear of road rash. If you're not familiar with what road rash is, it's basically your skin, you know, being shaved off your body. Uh, so a good way to prevent a lot of the skin being pulled is that, you know, if there's no hair follicles attached to the skin, it can't grip it as much because there will be a lot of friction when you do hit the deck on the asphalt. So if there's just, you know, skin, it can go layer by layer where skin and hair, the hair is very deep in the skin so it actually pulls you know more chunks so you know i've experienced some road rash and i and i can attest that when you don't have hair it's not as severe and i've had some friends that have had some you know pretty hairy legs because they just got into cycling and when they've experienced road rash it's been a lot worse so i do find it pretty accurate that with the less hair if you do experience road rash you'll have an overall better healing experience than someone that has super hairy legs and goes down in the same fashion the fourth reason why cyclists might shave their legs is because it feels better and looks better. So what I mean by that is depending on your cycling shorts or bibs and where the cuff of the shorts or bibs actually lay on your leg, if you have hair in that area while riding, your bibs or shorts might move. So if you don't have hair there, you know, there's nothing that could be discomfortable. If you do have hair and your bibs and shorts are moving, then you most likely will have discomfort as I used to have. So if you don't have hair and you're shaved, uh, that will eliminate the discomfort. Now, in terms of looking good and feeling more clean, just when you start making more gains and gaining definition in your, in your legs, the having no hair is gonna be so much more better and appealing. I know it sounds somewhat narcissistic, but it's good to see that hard work does pay off and you can you know, be proud of seeing the gains in the mirror rather than having it hidden uh, with hair. So I know that's somewhat vain but it's the truth and i feel that's another big reason why cyclists love shaving their legs is just showing off how much they ride and how fit they are so i can't really see myself going back to having hairy legs i get quite often massages so having no hair really helps and in terms of preventing severe road rash from having hair being pulled out if i do hit the deck and hit the asphalt that's nice to know and like i said sunscreen is really nice when i apply sunscreen i don't have any clunkiness and it just looks really good when you have good definition. So now I'm gonna give you guys some tips of how to actually shave your legs if you're not very familiar with doing so. So let's get right into that. The frequency of how often you shave really depends on how quick your hair grows and how smooth you actually like your hair and that all depends on how much you ride, right? So for me, I ride almost every day so I do like having a smooth leg just because I don't like to be discomfortable while I ride. So that's basically covers frequency. It really depends on your needs and what you find comfortable. So now these are the actual tips in regards to how to shave. So the first thing I usually do when I get in the shower is soak my legs in hot water. So what I mean by soak is just making sure that they get a full rinse uh, thoroughly and you know they have time to actually get wet and it's not you just hop in and start shaving right away. So about one minute, two minutes, just with hot water on your legs is gonna be more than enough to soak them and get them you know prepped for shaving. The next step is to apply a layer. So that could be shaving cream, soap, conditioner. I've played with all three and they usually give me all the same results. I just, it's really important to have a layer that protects the skin. So, you know, there's no nicks or cuts and uh, 
it just prevents you know afterburn so it's good to have a layer while shaving rather than just water on skin or i would never recommend dry so don't even think about that so like i said soak and then now layer now it's recommended to shave with the grade that your hair grows in i usually shave upwards so i think that's against the grade I don't have uh, an ingrown problem. Now I do get my frequent, you know, common ingrown here or there, but nothing crazy or severe or crazy burning sensation after I shave. So for now that works for me, but I would suggest if you guys are starting off, just go with the grade. And the next thing after that is just, you know, rinse and repeat. And due to the point where, you know, you get the majority of the hair, uh, I wouldn't say focus to the point where, you know, every hair is shaved just because it will grow back tomorrow. So it's, the whole idea of just maintenance and upkeeping that really helps the overall time of the process and the overall aesthetic and feel of it is just, you know, if you're doing it on a consistent basis, you won't really have parts that are like very severely grown in and parts that are very clean and shaven. So the final step, depending on how dry your skin gets after shaving is to moisturize. I don't have a dry skin problem after I shave, so I don't really worry about moisturizing, but if you do, it's a good step, a good precaution to take, which will help, you know, give some uh, life back to your legs if they are dry after shaving. There you have it. Those are the main reasons why cyclists shave their legs. And I gave you guys some tips of how to shave your legs if you've never done it before. I hope this video has helped you guys understand maybe some other reasons why cyclists might shave their legs and why the majority of us actually do shave our legs. Um, they're all valid points that maybe you've never thought of before or you're just getting into the sport So you've never heard them but after hearing them I hope you guys you know consider you know taking the plunge and shaving your legs if you are going to do a lot of the things that shaving your legs help against so With that being said, I hope you guys like the video Please drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe and comment of any other videos or tips that you guys might want to see down the line And until the next one keep on pedaling